Here are the aux keys parts for I Have This Hope by 10th Avenue North. And I say aux keys because this is not the main piano part. The main piano part uh, is just going to be played as it's written on the sheet music. So we have a separate perform set up for all the strings and other uh, kind of auxiliary special effects. Two things uh, to note about this. First of all, there's a key weight element. The second of all, the cutoff knob position is important on this one because it'll take that fifth off of the key weight. So when you start this, make sure that the cutoff knob is straight up, okay? Other thing we need to do is we need to make sure that the tempo is set to 54. Now the chord chart will say 108. I'm just going to verify that really quick. Yeah, the chord chart says 108. We're cutting that in half um, because we want a really a much slower subdivision for some certain effects that we're running, uh, and that's the only way to get it. So uh, one of those effects is as I hold this, you'll hear this swells in and out. And that's a tremolo effect that is set to tempo, and it's meant to mimic uh, kind of the ebo stuff that you hear in the recording. There's a slow attack on this and a slower release on it, so it'll automatically kind of fade itself in and out. The other element that's affected by the tempo is set to this key only, and it is, uh, it's meant to be the fast string arpeggiations. Also, because we can't put a weight on that, that is the only element that's uh, held by the pedal. So everything else is decoupled from the pedal. Just know that when you have that in and you have your foot on the pedal, if you pull it off because you're doing something else, you'll release that key weight or that non-key weight element and you don't want to. Everything else from E up to the top is just strings. And you can hear we've kind of given them a slightly longer release because if I've got the pedal down, it's decoupled from the pedal so that we can hold that. So you're just going to be doing mostly ad-lib string things here. See, I'm pedaling and it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> So those are the elements. Uh, let me tell you how we're going to do this. For starting the song, you're just going to lay this key weight thing in. And that's just like what's happening at the very top of the song. Piano will come in. For the intro and for verse 1 and 2, this is all you're doing. Then when you get to the chorus, you're just going to hit that, that D. It's really important anytime you trigger this element that you do it on beat. I have this song. So, so when we get to the verse, we're just going to let off the pedal, or if you're holding the key down manually, you're going to let it off, and you're going to start ad-libbing ad -libbing some string stuff, which I'll demonstrate for you in a second. You're going to continue that into the next uh, chorus, along with the D. chorus is doubled. And when we get to the bridge, we're just going to continue with this, but we're probably going to thicken things up a little bit. Anyway, we'll continue the bridge that way. At the end of the bridge... We're going to let our foot off of this, and we're going to turn the cutoff knob down to just thin that down to one note. Of my soul, in the flood or the fire, you're with me. Now watch this. Um, you're going to go for the last four beats of the bridge. Five, you're with me. Three, four, one, two. I have this So the trick there was you're hitting this four counts before it starts. Two, three, four. So 
so it'll arrive right about the time the chorus starts, and I was also taking that opportunity to swell that fifth back in. And then I nailed the wrong chord, but you're coming in on a strong C with the strings. If you go higher than 12 o'clock on this, it's just going to make that fifth brighter. So it's not the worst sin in the world, it's just not what was intended. But you could do that if you wanted for the last chorus. Tag, notice there are altered chords. In the fire, in the fire, you're with me, you won't let go. And then for this last one, we're just going to pull everything. In the flood or the fire, you lift me and you won't let go. So let me give you uh, a little bit. I'll play along with the recording uh, and you can see how it comes together. this time. Go. Oh, 